You know, the problem with the internet, well, I mean, there's a lot of problems with the internet, I suppose, <clears throat> if you want to get right down to it, but the problem with the internet and it being your your main source of information gathering, your main source of news, is that there are way too many choices. I mean, that's obvious, right? But what what happens, you know, and I say, I say way too many choices, really, there's, I like that there's a lot of choices. I like that there's a lot of avenues that you can pursue, but the, but the problem is most people only rely on one source. You know, for example, let's just say Facebook. Yes, there are people who get their news off of Facebook. And this is after allowing Facebook fact checkers to, to tell them whether or not what they're looking at is, is the truth or not, or is newsworthy or not. <clears throat> You know the same thing. YouTube, this play, this platform is another is another one. You know there are people that that they rely exclusively on channel X or channel Y or channel Z or you know maybe a mix of the of the three or you know whatever their poison is. That's what they prescribe to, and that's and I say I did say prescribe to. Uh, as well as subscribe in some cases, but you know people oftentimes watch channels and don't subscribe But which you know is what it is But it's what they prescribe to <clears throat> and that philosophy and that way of thinking uh, Is is what they go with uh, You know and that's a period in a sort of a period sort of way and uh you can't tell them anything else some of these people you know they they if they heard it from joe blows youtube bonanza i'm making up a channel name there feel free to use it uh you know then it's the gospel you know in the same way that well if, if they saw it on facebook and it wasn't you know it didn't have the little uh the blanked out covering that says misleading information or you know uh, checked by our independent fact checkers and all this you know then it's the gospel and you know the same is true it's uh, in the Twitterverse uh, in in you know various blogs uh, that exist that a lot of people <clears throat> again prescribe to or prescribe therein but so there is a lot of useful information on the internet. No doubt about it. You can find almost anything. You can find how-tos on almost anything. You can find opinions, uh, reviews, uh, updates. You know, uh, yeah, obviously news events, uh, real news events as they happen and stuff like that. You can, you can find all this stuff on the internet, but being able to sort out what you're looking at and discern what the truth is amongst all the different ways of things you're going to find there therein lies the rub therein lies what is our duty mine and yours to do is to sort this stuff out and to think about it uh you know and consider this stuff in a in a in an intelligent way really you know in a way that that you know, uh, makes you exercise your brain and figure out what is true. You can take the same news article and and look at it through the lens of, say, the top five uh, mainstream media outlets, and you'll get variants of the same story. You'll get variations. There will be some differences. There will be a slant. You know, the person writing said article, uh, a lot of times, not every, not in every case, but a lot of times, will, you know, you'll catch a slant. You read a Fox News article, for example, right, and and you've got a slant one way. Obviously, you read a CNN article on the same exact same 
subject. And, uh, you know, of course you'll get a different slant there. So, we know that that happens, right? I, I hope you know that that happens. But, uh, so it's up to us as consumers of information, you know, to, to do our due diligence in our research and to make sure that what we're looking at and more importantly what we are what we are spewing back what are what we are sharing with our friends and family what we are walking around believing we ought to make sure that that it is the truth as best as we can discern it this is assuming that all the information that you can get on the internet uh, that there are that there is truth in it you know the slants aside the uh, the uh, the political leanings aside or whatever they may be <clears throat> just things I've noticed people pick up on on such uh, silliness people pick up on on uh, well they just pick up with stuff and they run with it you know and and it doesn't help our cause you know it doesn't help I, I look at Facebook I'm gonna give you an example I look at Facebook I've got a Facebook friend on there that is constantly I've actually got a few that do this that are constantly posting this you know a lot of times it's memes okay I, memes to me are meant to be funnier you know they're jokes right whether or not they got any truth to them they're they're meant to be jokes but but aside from the memes posting these articles and these these fake facts really these these you know you can just about say anything and and put it up there and say you know they said this and they're doing that and this is what the government is doing it's it's out in the open they've they discovered it in texas or whatever and it's all bs it's all bullshit you know it's there, you know, with a with a little bit of simple research, you can discern as much. And and uh, but anyway, so I've got these these uh, few. This one in particular, I'm literally thinking of. But there are a few on the Facebook that that like to uh, like to put just anything that they see that anybody else posts that claims to be what's happening. By gosh, what they're doing to us. By gosh and post it you know and then i see all the people that are in full support jumping on the bandwagon going oh that's terrible those bastards you know <coughs> or whatever whatever it is it makes all right and th these are people in in most cases of this that i'm talking about well, it's both sides of the aisle that do it but but there are people that could be and are really on our side as it were on our side on the side of a patriot on the side of uh conservative viewpoints on the side of <clears throat> of uh you know uh 2a supporters on the on the side of uh pro-life and you know all of the the view I, I, i'm assuming that all of us are in those views you know carry those views share those views that are watching this channel but people that are on our side and then when they do this they make themselves look like well look like low iq folks maybe they are folks do your research let's not look stupid to the world more stupid than we already look <clears throat> 